Hey, it's Mr. Freaky. Most of you out there already know that haunted dolls are no joke. I've read story after story about possessed dolls on the internet, but you may be surprised to discover one that I find to be the most sinister of all. And the scary thing is there's a good chance you see it every year. It's called Elf on a Shelf. Looking at the thing, you probably wouldn't be surprised that it has a frightening reputation. Its long arms and legs, with its fake shiny plastic grin, is definitely a thing of nightmares as it is. Just imagine finding out that they've been known to move around while people aren't looking. In fact, believe it or not, there's a number of horrific stories of bad things happening around these dolls that would make your skin crawl. One in particular is the story about a daycare that was mysteriously donated one of these elves for the holidays. At first, everyone liked the thing, which I don't even understand why, considering how terrifying they are. But anyways, after a few weeks, the adults in charge of the daycare started noticing that the introduction of the doll had definitely increased disruption with all the kids at the daycare. Things were getting broken on a daily basis. Kids were in fights and hurting each other all the time. It was really bad. When asked about what was going on, each and every time, the kids would say that the elf on a shelf was somehow involved. Whether it had told them to bite some kid or knock something off a shelf, it always came back to the doll. Then one day, after all the madness came to a peak, the adults had discovered that a kid had gone missing one day. When asked, the children who had last saw him claimed that the elf wanted him to bring it out into the forest for reasons that they were too afraid to even talk about. Immediately, the adults contacted the authorities and put together a search party to go look for the boy in this national forest right next to the daycare. Miles of woods were covered, but there was no trace of him. In fact, the idea that he was only on foot started becoming less and less likely with each passing hour. I mean, how far could a six-year-old really walk without being driven? But that was when he turned up outside a cave the other end of the forest, about five miles away. He was completely out of it and dragging the elf behind him with one hand, holding some sidewalk chalk in the other. Then when investigators checked inside the cave, things began to get even stranger. The boy had drawn these mysterious symbols all over the walls, which after further analysis were found to have no origin in any known language. The boy had no recollection about any of this and didn't even know how he'd gotten that far. His last memory was playing with the elf in the daycare. The boy was soon after returned to his parents, but wasn't the same according to them. The event left him cold and distant, which was very out of character for him. His dad got him the elf on the shelf back since he'd been carrying it through the woods, and he figured it might comfort him to keep it around. That wasn't the case, though. In fact, they never saw him with the doll again once the police had given it back to him. One day, a few weeks later, the dad was planting some bushes in the yard and uncovered a small box which had been buried underneath the ground. When he opened it to his shock, he discovered the elf on the shelf was inside the box, and there were more of those strange symbols drawn on the inside. He decided not to bring it up to his son because he felt like he shouldn't stir up the traumatic event. However, he did decide that if his son didn't want it, he would add it to their donation box for Christmas the next day. Then the next morning after waking up, he went into the bathroom and, to his surprise, the elf was sitting in front of the mirror next to the sink. That freaked him out a bit, but he thought maybe his wife had put it there before leaving for work, curious about why it was being given away. So he went about his business and started taking a shower, not really paying it much mind. When he got out of the shower, though, he walked back over to the mirror to shave and noticed some strange letters written at the bottom of the foggy mirror. They spelled out, No Give Away. At that point, he started getting legitimately frightened and went to ask his son about why he'd buried the elf in the first place. The child was not happy with this and started screaming and panicking after finding out it had been dug up. He kept saying the elf was going to hurt him and that it needed to be destroyed immediately. He freaked out about it to such a point that he convinced his dad 
to just burn the elf in the fireplace then and there. Willing to do anything to help his son overcome this trauma, he decided why not and got out some matches, ready to burn the doll. Then after tossing some logs in and getting the fire started, he took the elf and threw it in, closing the glass shutters immediately. As they watched the doll burn, the father was taken back a bit when he looked down and saw this grin on his son's face. He just watched with anticipation as the doll burned away, leaving no trace behind. Then he just got back up and, without saying a word, went back to his room. Slightly worried and weirded out, the father opened up the fireplace to try and clear away some of the ash and found something written on the metal plate at the back of the fireplace. His stomach dropped when he read the words. Help me, Daddy. It's me. To my knowledge, there are no accounts of what happened to these parents after this disturbing event. All I know is it's likely that they probably couldn't prove anything supernatural had happened, and they were stuck with their son's demonic replacement for a very, very long time. If you have any other Elf on a Shelf or scary Christmas stories in general, share them in the comments and I'll check them out, as well as like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. Have a very scary Christmas, Freaksters, and remember to stay spooky, my friends.